Hi, I'm Claudine Lewis, respiratory therapy student. I'm here to go over some NIV with y'all, non-invasive ventilation, which you would use a mask like this for. Um, I don't really want to wear it, um, but this one is a good fit for me. It's actually small, and it goes right above, right above the nose and right to the bottom of the bowl. Um, so this is the V60. I've already got it on. It's on standby. Let's look at modes. Let's go to ST. Um, my IPAP is 12, rate of 8. I time is 1.2, which still gives me a, a very long expiratory time. Um, rise of 2 seconds. Um, the ramp is off, which is fine. EPAP is 5. Um, O2 is 32%. We'll activate that mode and get our test line. Alarm settings. The alarms and stuff is something you would kind of have set before you actually get to your patient. Um, maybe EMS has called and said they're coming in with something and you're thinking about, you know, what the minimum rate is you want them to breathe and that kind of stuff. Um, they do have portable CPAPs here, but not a portable BiPAP for the EMS. So they may come in on that and you need to transfer them over. So my alarm settings are high 30, high tide volume of 960. Um, low minute ventilation of three liters a minute, low rate of eight, low, to, low tidal volume of 150. I need to silence that instead of stop. Um, so the, that's good there. Um, this one has a CPAP mode. So say they're, a, um, you know, they just need straight pressure. You have to have it set at 10, 0 02 at 32%. Alarm settings. Those all stay the same no matter which mode I'm in, apparently. So, AVAPS. Alarm. Yep, that all stays the same. So, activate that one. Um, that's good if you really want to ventilate your patient a little quickly and prevent them from having to go um, to mechanical ventilation mode. Um, I've got some alarms going saying it's not plugged into power, the oxygen's not hooked up, which it's not. Low minute ventilation because I'm not actually doing anything with the test line. So that covers that. This one also has um, a pressure support mode. Um, so pressure control. Um, I guess. I don't know if you could actually use this on a bin or not. Um, anyway, thank you all so much.